Here in the i button and the description box below we will get complete playlist of infinite series. Welcome to video number 9 where we are going to solve a problem. Okay, yes. The question is test for convergence of the series. Here we have two series. Before I get into this video, I would request you to subscribe to my channel. And uh, if you learn something from my videos, then please hit the like button. And do share the playlist of this chapter with your friends. Okay, it's, it's a request. Fine. Let us start with this problem that is test for convergence of the series. We have two series. First is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus dot 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 plus n plus dot 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 up to infinity. And the second series is 5 minus 4 minus 1 plus 5 minus 4 minus 1 plus 5 minus 4 minus 1 plus dot dot dot. Okay. Let us solve this first part. Here we have S n. If you are taking S n, if you are, if I am writing S n, that means we need to write up to n. Okay. Up to this. Fine. Yes. That is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus dot 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 up to plus n. Now since we know that the sum of sum of n natural numbers you need to remember one formula that is sum of n natural numbers is how much n into n plus 1 upon 2 okay yes sum of n natural numbers is how much yes that is n into n plus 1 upon 2 so we have sn equals to n into n plus 1 upon 2 now we need to find the limit of this sn that is limit n tends to infinity sn equals to limit n tends to infinity in place of sn we need to write this that is n into n plus 1 upon 2 okay if you put infinity in place of n, you are going to get limit as infinity, okay? And since the value is infinity, so we can say that the series is divergent, okay? Yes, the series is divergent because the limit, the value for this limit is how much? Infinity. If you get plus infinity or minus infinity, in both the case you will get, yes, the series is divergent, fine? Now we are going to solve the second series, okay? Yes. Second series says 5 minus 4 minus 1, 5 minus 4 minus 1 plus 5 minus 4 minus 1 plus dot 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 up to n terms. Okay. Yes. We need to find the sum of this. Now, if you take the limit of this Sn where n tends to infinity, then we are going to get three cases. Okay. Yes. Let's suppose the first case says the sum of the sum of all the terms is a multiple of 3. Okay. Sum of all, num all the terms is a multiple of 3. Like this is multiple of 1, this is multiple of 2, okay, this is multiple of 2, this is multiple of 3, okay, yes, I mean, sorry, I actually, this is multiple of 3, if you add this 6 terms, this also multiple of 3, if you add this 9 terms, this also multiple of 3, okay, so, if all the terms is a multiple of 3, in that case, we are getting 3 into m, okay, all are multiple of 3, in that case, if you see, if you see these three numbers only, this is going to give me zero. Okay. Again, if you add these three numbers, this is going to be zero. Okay. Again, next three numbers again will be zero. So sum will be always zero if the number of terms is multiple of three. Fine. Okay. Now we'll come to the second case where the number of terms is what? 3m plus 1. 3m plus 1. It means the last term is what? 5. Okay. Except this 5, you are going to get all the terms sum of all terms are zero okay yes last term that is 5 3m plus 1 this plus 1 terms okay this last term due to this one your last term will be how much this 5 okay except this 5 you are going to get the sum of all the terms as zero so we can say sum will be 5 if the number of terms is 3m plus 1 fine yes in the same way if the number of terms is 3m plus 2, it means the last two numbers is what? 4, 5 minus 4. The sum of, sorry, the last two terms is, the last two terms is 5 minus 4. It means if you add this, that is 5 minus 4, you are going to get value as 1. And all the remaining terms, if you add all the terms, you will get 0. Okay. If you add 3m, you will get 0. But if you add last two terms, you will get 5 minus 4, that is 1. Okay, so here we are getting S and S0, S and S5 and S and is 1. So here we can say like, since in this case, S and, yes, S and does not tend to a unique limit. Here you can say limit is not unique. Sometimes we are getting 0, sometimes we are getting 5, sometimes we are getting 1. In this case, since we can say like, S and does not tend to a unique limit, hence we can say that is the series is oscillatory. Okay. So this series is oscillatory. Yes. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you.